Let's take a look at these examples. We can rewrite the first problem as one half log a plus one third log b. Supposed to use the property for the logarithm of the power and write this as log a to power one half plus log b to power one third. Because this is the sum of the logarithms, I'm going to use the property for the product. And I'm going to have log a one half times b one third inside of the parentheses equals. Have to keep in mind that a to power one half is the square root of a, and b to power one third is cube root of b. I can rewrite this as log in parentheses square root of a times cube root of b. This is the solution to my problem. Let's take a look at the second example for 2 log y over a and 3 log c. I'm going to use the property of the power. I'm going to make sure that the coefficient next to the log is going to be equal 1. I'm going to have log x over 4 and this 2 is going to be my exponent outside of the parentheses plus log y over a to the second power plus log c to the third power. Please notice that we have the sum of the logarithms with the same base. That's why I'm going to use the property for the logarithm of the product. And I'm going to rewrite this as log, open parenthesis, x over 4 times y square over a square, because this square is going to square my y and is going to square my a, times c cube over 1. Because I'm dealing with fractions over here, I'm going to convert c to fraction also. Anytime you multiply fractions, you have to multiply numerators by numerators and denominators by the denominators. If you cannot reduce any numerator of any denominator, but in this case we cannot reduce anything, we simply multiply. So this is log, and I have x, y to the second power, c to the third power, over 4a square. This is the single log with coefficient 1. So this is the solution to my problem.